actually enforcing that law says they will do it. Jennifer Martinez joins us live with that story. Jennifer. We'll carry a strong message from two sheriffs here in Arizona. They say that they will not cite or arrest anyone going against the stay at home orders. Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb says he was disappointed by the extension to May 15th, telling Fox 10 in a recent interview that people need to get back to work, saying the order goes against constitutional rights. I'm not going to encourage anybody to go against what the governor has to say, but I'm not going to uh, fine or cite or arrest anybody for doing what they believe is best for their family. Mojave County Sheriff Doug Schuster says it's horrendous watching one business succeed while others fail. The stay-at-home order covers a lot of great guidelines. The concern that I have and the reason I'm saying that I cannot in clear conscience uh, enforce this order is I find it to be unconstitutional and I say that because any law or executive order that is selective by nature and does not afford protection or the privilege or even the immunity to all the citizens is unjust. Constitutional attorney Russ Richelsoff says the governor is allowed to declare an emergency in a situation where there is a disease that threatens the health and safety of Arizonans, such as COVID-19. Violating the governor's order does violate the law. It is a class one misdemeanor and governor's have the typical law enforcement discretion as to whether or not you know they're going to enforce a particular statute but again the sheriff opens himself up to liability somebody could sue the sheriff and say by not enforcing the governor's order you are risking the health and safety of the community and no word yet if there will be any consequences against those two sheriffs. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Jennifer Martinez with Fox 10 News.